Gotcha. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video. This is the game Economist, and today we're talking about the new, fastest way to obtain Great Spirit Vein gems. So Capcom's given us a new quest. This is an event quest, which means it rotates, it's available always on the festivals, and then it's occasionally available as it rotates in some of the weeks, right? It's kind of like they just gave us the new way to obtain decorations, with fighting Tempered Zenogar, well, this new method is going to be a fight against Tempered Nergigante. For those of you who are really unfamiliar with the material, the Great Spirit Vein gem is used in augmentations, and honestly, I had a lot of armor and weapons that I had not augmented all the way because I hate obtaining the Great Spirit Vein gems. It just takes too long. You would have to go to the Guiding Lands and you would have to fight Elder Dragons and hope that they would drop it, uh, and it just would rarely drop. Like, hours could go by and you might get one. So let's go ahead and choose Post Quest real fast. We're going we're gonna to jump down to events. Here it is, Ode to the Destruction. This is the Tempered Nergigante fight. You can see you fight him in Original Isle. It's basically like fighting him in a very small arena, which is terrific, actually. This is also great for speedrunners, because it means now speedrunners will be able to, you know, practice getting their best speedrun in against Tempered Nergigante. So that's useful for them as well. Uh, this was the quest that gave you the new uh, decoration farm. Of course, I had a video on that as well, so that's already posted. But now we're going to have this. You can actually see in the description, it says right there, Great Spirit Vein Gems as a reward for your trouble. Let's go ahead and get this queued up. Actually, maybe we'll respond to an SOS. Let's help somebody. All right, here we are. So Tempered Nergigante, he is a pretty tough fight. I don't, I don't think he's as bad as Tempered Lunastra still though. What do you guys think? Think Lunastra is still more difficult? We're gonna eat all the buffs this time just to help us out because this is gonna be a tough fight. I'm gonna make sure we get through this nice and easy. We've got our rock steady, we've got our temporal mantle. We're gonna start out making sure that he is softened for the team. That's very important for everyone to get their best damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But that's okay, rock steady. Ooh. Well, I should be dodging through that and I'm missing. Let's get a life powder out. So we got the head. Let's take down one of the arms as well. Being a good teammate, especially when you have a heavy weapon, is all about softening those parts up. Alright, this- oh, he's gonna be KO'd here. Two, three, we're not gonna upswing, I don't wanna send Shadow Dragon flying. I mean, normally I would, <laughs> but I have my rock steady on. Alright, he went for Kai, Kai's okay. Soften this wing up. Yep, we're gonna do lots and lots of softening the whole time. That's gonna be paralysis. Get in near the head. He'll probably KO soon here because between Kai and I both doing KO damage to the head, he'll KO faster than usual. Now you can do a sticky ammo build. Sticky ammo is always pretty effective. Ooh, we're poisoned. Here we go. We'll do the upswing this time because I don't think we'll hit Shadow Dragon. Nope. Let's cure our bleed. The Astera Jerky. Shadow Dragon could use some healing. Let's go ahead and put this Temporal Mantle on. Ah, we got hit by the wind pressure. Don't you hate that? <laughs> Whoa, paralyzed a second time. That's impressive. He ran out of stamina. That's what happened there. Alright, the head's re-softened. I'm not too worried about sending him into a wall, but there is a pot over there. Maybe I will. Oh, the ledge of the map can be used as a hill. That's pretty cool. Alright, there he goes. He did go down. Shadow Dragon isn't interrupting me so far. That's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He interrupted me on the last stage of Big Bang. Dodge the roar. Who's he going after? Oh, I think he was going after me. Oh, he's gonna get hit by that. Parts broken. Let's open up the tail. He's about ready to be mounted. Sometimes with the hammer, you really have to guess where he's gonna be at. That's why we aimed kind of ahead of his head rather than toward his tummy. 
because I figured at the end of his next move, his head would be there, and in fact it was. Let's get him mounted. There's the mount. I knew he was very close. Not really too concerned about that move. Will he drain all my stamina for that? Huh. Pretty close. Alright, there's the first interrupt. Charged attack. Time to go. One, two. Oh, but he got knocked over. That's okay. As long as we can get some damage out. We'll still go for the Big Bang, I guess. I don't think we'll finish it, though. Nah, he's gonna stand up too fast. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Damage taken reduced. That's going to be our Divine Blessing proccing. Rather than taking uh, Master's Touch, we went for Divine Blessing. I'm a big fan of that as a defensive skill. He's exhausted. Two, three. That didn't last long, did it? <laughs> he is ready to be thrown into a wall again. We don't have any mantles, so if we're going to do it, we have to be careful. Now he's got us. I think that we weren't the only ones to have the same idea. I saw somebody else jump after the head. Boop. Oh, I, I guess that didn't count. Strange, huh? Soften his head. Can we soften the head? No. He's gonna throw us off. Who else is hurt? Shadow Dragon? This is gonna hurt really bad. Oh, I think we I think we rolled through it. Uh, Shadow Dragon was not so lucky. <laughs> we also have Moxie on, so I ate for Moxie just to make sure we don't use any of the team's life. With a fight like this, with Tempered Ner uh, Nergigante, you know, you can... Um, ooh... They should be planting those against the wall, because he can be thrown into the wall. I don't think they're going to. Woo! Isn't that exciting? You can throw him into the wall once he's gone to sleep, but... Oh, nice. They still did. Very good. Oh, but he wasn't close enough. Yeah, you can put the barrel bombs up against the wall, and he'll hit them when he hits the wall. Well, we still hit him, but he, he tossed us around like a ragdoll there. Still not much damage taken. We dodge the roar. I'm gonna grab this real fast. Who's he going for? Oh, apparently me. Well, I did run right under him, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be the drooling. We're gonna claw onto him to uh, reset the timer on the drooling. I'm soften the head up. Guess Shadow was doing it as well. Well, I think we can. Soften the tail too, can't we? Let's soften the tail for the t uh, our teammates. Oh nope, let's get thrown off. Really missing those mantles right now. Using the uh, temporal mantle is always kind of risky, you know. That side's oh man, how do they interrupt me? Still, they do. Even with the charged hammer, I get knocked out of my. Uh... Darn, that's too bad. I think without that interrupt, we might have finished it. I don't know. Yeah, even even with the charged hammer, they still knock me out of my big bang. It's really annoying. It's almost like you have to take a level of flinch free with you. I, I wasn't sure where he was going to land. I just went ahead and released the brutal Big Bang. And there's a big jump. Don't do it, Nergigante! We're not really getting too many hits in. He's too mobile right now, so I'm just kind of going crazy. Hitting him anywhere I can. Luckily, once again, I'm not too worried about my health because we have Divine Blessing Secret, and this really helps us stay alive. So we're just kind of getting in there. If we, if we fall below half health, or, or around half health, of course, I'll stop and heal. Oh, we can grab on. Oop. He throws us off. He's going to use his jumping attack. Oh, I don't even know who that was aimed, for, aimed at. That's him exhausted again. Oh, nice. Oh, I wonder if I cost that or the sticky. Oh, I can't tell. Probably should have done another aerial on him there. Man, loving aerials. We got the flight decoration on this build too, so we're getting that extra damage from the flight decoration. Alright, the tail's softened. We finally reached blue sharpness. I guess Master's Touch wasn't that important. that? I didn't even see the flash. <laughs> did, I, did you see that? I knew he was coming over. 
see me chill out there in the corner? I was like, nah, I'll wait for him to get closer. <laughs> Alright, so we have the rock steady back. Let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, and you know, we can give the team a buff. Team and powder buff. Oh, there's paralysis again. So, the problem I have with triple paralysis here is somebody is clearly not doing damage when they triple paralyze like that. If it was the... Oh, you know what? It was probably one of the long swords. I bet you it was one of the long swords. If it's one of the long swords, fair enough. But if it's the player using the heavy bow gun doing a triple paralysis, he's kind of wasting his time because... Nice, we got it. He's wasting his time because the threshold for paralysis is probably very high by the second paralysis. Lots of damage on the head. Lots of damage on the head. He's super mad. We're just dive evade. Couldn't really tell what was going on there. Somebody's not doing damage, right? Nice job. Boop. Let's get the overhead smash as well. Doot. Lots of damage. I would ledge hop him more often, but actually knowing that the edge of the maps include a hill, it makes it even easier. So the hammer is really going to get a lot of aerial attacks in this fight. I think it's making it a, a good choice for this fight. Look at that. Yeah, hammer is going to be a great choice. He's by the ledge. We're just going to get tons of ledge hops in. Hammer's charging and everything. Perfect timing, really. That's the drilling status. Alright, so we reset the drilling set, uh, well, the timer. Alright, his head softened. Not like his head wasn't going to be softened either way. We are on it. Oh, he's really landing a lot of damage there, but damage taken reduced, uh, reduced from the uh, Divine Blessing Secret. Really powerful skill, isn't it? When it comes to defense, it's easily probably the best skill, other than health boost. The health boost is kind of a given, though, right? Does anyone who isn't speedrunning not take health boost at this point? It's, it's such a powerful defensive skill. Alright, so Ruin and Ergigante is gone. How many lives do we have left? We had two lives left. And was somebody... I bet somebody was taking a... Um, process weapon. That's going to be poison. That's going to be blast. So the process was coming from Languid here. And I don't think that's a good use of his time because... It would, again, it would just take so much time to get the third proc of paralysis, you're probably better off focusing more on damage. But, I don't know, I guess he probably was thinking he would play crowd control for us. That's probably what he was thinking. Go ahead and carve this guy up. No reason not to. Well, I have a lot of his materials. <laughs> I don't necessarily need it. Very easy map for a hammer player. I will say that. Very easy map for a hammer player. Hammer still got a lot of damage on the aerial attacks. Oh, there's Crystal Burst over there. I didn't see that earlier. So there's Crystal Burst for throwing him into a wall, flinching him maybe. Yeah, great map for a, ha a hammer player. Love this arena, actually. This little small area is very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rewards, which is what we're here for. So we're here for the Great Spirit Vein Gems. Okay, so we have some Nergi materials. Here's one Great Spirit Vein Gem. <laughs> Just one, huh? We got King Armor Sphere. That's pretty useful as well. Shadow Core Ore is useful. And uh, one Spirit Vein Gem. So the first time I did this, I actually got three Great Spirit Vein Gems, which means you can get one, you can get two, and you can probably get three as well. Uh, I don't know if it's like rare or something. It probably is. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can get either, but I definitely got three on my first run, and it appears I got one on my latest run. Okay, so this is going to be the fastest method, though, and uh, especially if you can get a nice fast team, this is much, much faster than the Guiding Glands. So any old farming method for Great Spirit Vein Gem is obsolete at this point. The only exception is maybe when this event quest isn't available, but when it is available, you should kind of go in, farm it up, get all the Spirit Vein Gems you would ever need, and then you won't have to worry about it ever again. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get a wave going. Gesture. Ah, here we are. All right, so new method to obtain Great Spirit Vein Gems, just like we have a new way to obtain uh, decorations, the face stones. Remember, carved face, carved face stones from the Tempered Zenogre. Really good. I'm glad Capcom gave this to us. It's definitely going to make grinding for these materials uh, and these decorations much better. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.